Warriors rise. Man, XRP, not a security. The SEC can't even answer this question. And I'm first going to start out with some news. You need to get your shit together, Warriors. If you've never been on my channel, I'm going to give you the real deal. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. I'm not looking for likes, followers, comments, all that stuff. What I'm looking to do is to wake you up. This is going to be the greatest time in human history or one of the worst times in human history for you. I'm going to show you how there's a battle for consciousness and how they're playing games with your life. As you sit there and you're just over broke and you work your ass off for these people and they're playing games with your life. It is a battle for attention and information and I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to prove it to you. And then I'll get into the XRP piece. But Warriors, get off the damn sidelines straight up. Get into the Warrior Academy. We are helping thousands of people all over the world figure this confusing information piece out and get into the quantum financial system. Access to my portfolio, our exit strategy, 130 cryptocurrencies, access to my 13 crypto team, 13 <laughs> 13 team members in my crypto team, access to information, calls, everything you need. Get in the game. All right, let's jump right into it, Warriors. We're just going to jump right into the news, okay? So XRP, not a security SEC can't answer from Brad Garlinghouse, but let's jump into this. Now, first, I want to show you this, Warriors, because, because, because I need you to know that this is a battle for information. This is a battle for your consciousness, okay? So Elon Musk takes majority stake in Twitter, right? Okay. You're all excited. Everybody's posting this. Everybody's pumped about it. And then, boom, Vanguard comes in and takes the top spot. I've been talking to you about Vanguard and BlackRock. Vanguard and BlackRock control your media. They control the financials. They control your medical, pharmaceutical, financials, and media. Elon throws out that he's going to take over Twitter. He throws out the top share in Twitter. And then, boom, Vanguard says, uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. We have control of the people's minds because whoever controls the money, controls the information, controls the people. Well, ironically, we've been talking about BlackRock, Vanguard, Morgan Stanley. My apologies, guys. I've been at home with my son this week, so my manifestation alarm keeps going off, and I'll do that on the side. But no, I'm going to do it. <laughs> what are the steps to one million month income? What are the steps to one million month income? What are the steps to one million month income? You need to be consistent with everything you do. Be disciplined, okay? Don't let anybody stop you from being who you're supposed to be. Vanguard, Morgan Stanley, and BlackRock, top investors in Twitter. I mean, when, how much do I need to show you this to see that you're being controlled by certain companies? Okay, so as soon as Elon started to take over Twitter, boom, they jumped right in. Well, you came here for XRP news, and I know people get excited about the XRP. I'm an XRP dude, but guys, what's more important is to understand the game. I know the game. That's why I can't get played wars. I understand the money game. I now know how the money flows through the system, and 99% of the people are doing it the banking way, and the banking way isn't how the bankers are doing it. The C-suite leaders aren't doing it the same way. They're borrowing money to buy assets. They're using life insurance to hedge against the 401k collapsing. They're investing the speculative asset called cryptocurrency to catch you on the back end as you sit there in your 401k that's gonna, that I believe is going to be smashed with the stock market collapse, in my opinion. So I'm going to take a deep breath and let's get into the XRP news. So judge orders SEC to produce materials related to Hinman's speech in ongoing Ripple legal fight. Warriors, we're getting so close. We're getting so unbelievably close. You can read through these memorandums from uh, Judge Sarah Netburn, who's forcing them to release these documents around the uh, Hinman speech, right? So Hinman, basically, there's all this weird shit going on with Line. Remember, Bill Hinman left the SEC to go consult for a $2.2 billion crypto fund. Jay Clayton, as I sat there in quarantine on December 20th, 2020, I'll never forget this day. All these people are like, why did you get me into, I didn't get anybody into XRP. And they asked me what I was doing. I said, I'm holding on like a tick on a dog. And sure enough, two days later, Jay Clayton leaves the SEC who threw out the SEC lawsuit and goes to consult for a cryptocurrency fund. Come on, warriors, wake up. They're manipulating the shit out of you. The U.S. has fallen behind in other development markets when it comes to crypto, says Ripple CEO. All right, so let's hear it from the horse's mouth. Uh, this is a longer video, but we will uh, watch this video together. I just want you guys to hear what he's saying. Uh, there's a lot of key factors in here that you need to pay attention to. Well, the way Ripple uses the XRP token in our tech stack, we use it to enable that cross-border extremely fast and extremely uh, reliable transaction so uh we use xrp because of its 
attributes that make it fast and inexpensive. There are other tokens that people use for other use cases that don't work as well for payments. The XRP Ledger, you know, from its origins, has really enabled payments at scale in a way that certainly Bitcoin, while it's very good for digital gold, its speed and cost per transaction makes it less attractive for a payments type use case. So Ripple will continue to use XRP because of its core attributes as a really efficient technology. Is that something you see continuing in your tech stack going forward? For sure, without question. And I think you'll see Ripple use X the XRP Ledger for other use cases as well. We're certainly making investments, as I mentioned, in the carbon credit marketplace uh, and you know other verticals that we think could be compelling. Do you, uh, we've seen a lot of market volatility, of course, in the public equity markets. We've seen that filter through to the crypto markets as well. What's your outlook for the for the rest of the year? Do you expect sort of uh, crypto markets to push higher uh, and that volatility reduce, or are you expecting just this continued sort of seesawing we're seeing? I think it's really hard to know the timing, but I'm incredibly bullish on crypto overall. And frankly, that's because of the macro factors. That there's two that I'll highlight. The macro factor on inflation globally. You know, you saw this past week record inflation at, you know, for I think four decades, inflation in the United States at eight and a half percent. The other fact that I think is really important not to lose sight of is, as you and I have talked about, that the move from crypto, crypto overall towards an institutional use case, solving real problems for real customers and these scaled, scaled solutions that aren't just about the speculative activity that has really driven some of the historic crypto act market activity. Um, Brad, I want to sort of move on and talk about regulation, which has been a huge topic uh, yesterday. And it will. Continue. Okay, so here's where we're going to get into it. I just want you guys to hear his uh, sentiments. This guy's, I, I love Brad. He's very poised. He's professional. He's deep in the system, though, Warriors. He's deep in the system. He's poised. Look at it. He, he knows what's going on. Look at those eyes, man. He's ready to roll. Let's go. Continued today as well. Um, you're currently in a legal battle with an SEC that's been going on for a year or so. Um, can you give us an update on that and when you expect a resolution? You know, that started in December 2020. And the, the core question there is around a, a nuanced legal question. It is XRP a security? And it, did Ripple sell, is XRP a, an investment contract? Did Ripple sell unregistered securities? Did I, Brad Garland, I'll sell XRP as an unregistered security? I think it's very clear that in the United States, the laws have not been clear. And for the SEC then to go back in time and say, you should have known all along, it's really, I think, going to be hard. It's a hard case. And I think what we're seeing in the court process, which does continue to play out, is a judicial process that recognizes some of this. Even this past couple of days, there was a ruling from the court uh, finally giving it, uh, it requiring the SEC to publish information about some speeches that uh, the director of corporate finance, Hinman, gave about Ether not being a security. And the fact that even now you have uh, the SEC not able to answer the question, is Ether a security? They want to answer that question. It, you know, they're saying there's clarity, but then they won't provide clarity. They're saying they won't comment on specific projects, but then they comment on Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a one of the largest projects, but yet still just a project. And just in terms of broader crypto market regulation, we had, of course, the, the executive order from President Joe Biden. At the time, there's a lot of criticism. Well, this doesn't sort of go far. OK, so let's recap that really quickly. OK, so look how poised he is, though. Look at how poised he is. And then watch when Gary Gunser speaks, when Biden speaks, when the vice president speaks, when the press secretary speaks, when Jerome Powell speaks, watch their behaviors, the <clears throat> um, um, shuffling papers. This guy's poised. He knows what's coming. Behavior is really important, warriors. Pay attention. Far enough, it's not laying out specifics. Uh, what's your view on it? Did you, did you think it was significant for the market? I think it was very significant. I think it was very positive. You know, frankly, the, the leadership we've seen outside of the United States in crypto regulation is way ahead of where it has been in the U.S. It's something we've been saying for years. And I think at the core of the executive order from the Biden administration is acknowledging that exact point, that the, the competitiveness of U.S. in these developing markets around crypto, around blockchain technologies has fallen behind and more and more investment, and more and more talent is going outside the United States. When entrepreneurs here in Paris talk to me about starting companies in the crypto space, one of the first things I'll recommend to them is you shouldn't start the company in the United States because there isn't that clarity. And so a lot of the hiring, even for Ripple, we'll hire over 300 people this year. Well over half of those I expect to be non-US based. Hi, I'm... Okay, there we go, Warriors. 
So the U.S. right now is losing its grip 100% all by design. This is all by design. Don't think that this isn't by design, Warriors. This has been slowly and methodically planned out since 1971, in my opinion. Okay, so this is interesting right here. So Ripple lawsuit victory looms after big win versus SEC. Ripple secured a big win in its lawsuit against the SEC this week. A legal analysis says, as Judge Netburn, we talked about that, SEC released documents that may provide selectively enforced regulation in the crypto industry. If the SEC now settles XRQ, P could be in for a big jump. I'm hanging on like a tick on a dog, long-term investor warriors. So Ripple leads, uh, he said, mentioned something in there as well. Did I, I might've missed that, but he talked about sustainability. The next thing is the Paris Agreement. Um, it's That's the first thing that President Biden put us into. First thing he did when he went in presidency was the Paris Agreement. Um, and that's going to be a big part. Carbon neutral is going to be massive. Carbon neutral. Pay attention to that narrative. It's something I'm heavily going to be focused on as we transition into this new world is the carbon narrative and investing in the sustainability because that's where they're taking us. Okay. Uh, go look up the Crypto Climate Accord. This You can dive into this a little bit. Obviously, you see all the supporters. The Crypto Climate Accord is, is, is not attached to the Paris Agreement, but it's modeling the Paris Agreement uh, because a lot of companies um, are not going to be able to get financing if they are not carbon neutral. So you're going to see companies like Exxon, these massive oil companies switching to solar, gas, wind. So if you can pay, oh my gosh, sorry about that. So if you can pay attention to the narrative um, in regards to gas, solar, and wind, that's where we're going to head over to. So we got the XRP Ledger Foundation, we have Ripple, we have Engine, a lot of your favorite cryptocurrencies, Web3 Foundation. So surf through this stuff. Pay attention to who's connected to who wars. And I want to end with this piece and, and really helping you um, or just sharing my two cents and helping you understand, I should start saying understand what's happening. This is just a battle for consciousness warriors. That's all it is. It's a battle for attention in your consciousness. It's been happening like this since the media came, right? When they realized that they could take a paper, uh, hear ye, hear ye. And they, the people would read that information and they realized, wow, these people really respond to this information. Then they moved into a television programming, programming. And they realized that they could have you stare at a tube and get you addicted to reality outside of yourself the worldly thing they could tell you that tide's the best detergent well now we're into connectivity web 2.0 to web 3.0 and they know that we have decisions to make we know that we can go research you can go research coach jv if you type in coach jv the first two things that come up what's his real name and what's his net worth so people are searching trying to find out if i'm full of shit that's why i'm so brutally honest on my podcast a couple weeks ago i shared exactly how much i make and it's it's very important to understand warriors because I know you can search information. I know you can look this stuff up. You can't bullshit people anymore. You're going to find information from me 16 years ago when I was a drug addict that I'm not proud of, but I will own it because it made me who I am today, Warriors. So I, if you've been, that's why all this information is out there. If you watch my YouTube videos, everything that I've ever done has been out there. Because Warriors, I understand that. I understand that information is everywhere. You can't hide from anything anymore. What's done in darkness always comes to light. But once you bring it to light, you deal with it. You can move forward. You can become free as I have. So that's what I'm trying to encourage people to do is to free your dome. Free yourself through releasing the old self, coming into the new, and understanding the game so you can't be played. So if you feel depressed, anxiety, stress, out of sorts all the time, you're so far outside of who you're supposed to be because you've been indoctrinated in a system that is the created I am. You are not the great I am. You are the created I am by your parents, your job, your religion, whatever it is has created you to be something and you feel like you're outside of yourself. And you're not your true self. So if you're your true self, you feel free, you feel abundant, you'll have opportunities of up and down, but you'll understand that everything is happening for you, nothing is against you, and you're already free. So I know that was a long explanation to tell you that I love you from my heart, my family to yours. I'm going to continue to bring this information to you guys because I'm here to help people free themselves. I can't do anything for you. All I can do is give you information and share exactly what I'm doing to see if I can help as many people as possible make their own decisions. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And as we always say, warriors! Rise, get your shit together. 3twarrior.com or join the free conversation description of bio. Also, go down there, check out our 3T Warrior Labs. Boom, you get your gear. Bull run, baby. Let's go.